Hey, what's up everybody? I'm Super Sonic G, and welcome back to Persona 5 Strikers, the Nintendo Switch. So last time we did it, guys, we had installed Mari-san's heart, and, uh, well, we also defeated the Lock Keeper and everything, and, uh, yeah, she changed her heart and became a better person, and, uh, yeah, now I continue on and do more of this story in today's episode. So, we're gonna go and get started with the video, make sure you hit that like button, as it helps out a lot, and comment subscribe to my channel. So yeah, first thing we're gonna do here is we're, we're already in the new city. We're gonna pick a partner for the Ferris wheel. And you guys, like you, you see, you can choose anybody here. You can even choose the guys too. But, well I guess you can't choose Morgana since these are in your bag. Right here. Like, hi Morgana, you don't wanna be my partner? Okay, I see that poster up there. But uh, yeah, if you guys know me, you know who I like the most and everything. You know who my favorite character is and everything. That's right, Yusuke. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's on. That's my favorite girl. That's best girl. Don't at me or whatever. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna do it on here. So, oh, just so you finally have time to relax a little. Are you gonna ride a Ferris wheel, lady? On. Let's right, do it. Let's go. There's a Ferris wheel around here. That sounds like fun. Let's do it. That's right, girl. I hope this part is voice acted. I really do hope it is. Whoa! Amazing. I guess not. Wow, look, Josh, the lights are so pretty. Not as pretty as you. Okay, stop. Yeah, and nice guy may be beautiful, but you're even more dazzling lady on. Oh my god, we have Morgana with us. I didn't even think about that. Hey, hey, hey get out of here, man. This is my day with her. I know you like her too, but I like her more. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, I see it's hard by Dory Park. Look, look, it's so shiny. Not as shiny as your eyes. Okay, stop. She's not listening to me. You're still here? Why Why the heck did I bring you along? This is me and on time. Get lost, Morgana. Man, I have no idea there was a Ferris wheel right in the middle of the city like this. Silly breath, I wish it was just the two of us. <laughs> you can say that too. I wish it was just the two of us. Wow, you saying I'm a third wheel? Yes, I mean, I could have said I'm a third wheel, but I feel like you might be more a third wheel. <laughs> Aw, he's just kidding around. No need to pout like that. See, I feel so strange to be here in Sapporo like this. I can travel a lot for photo shoots, and it's both been both an eye-opener and a blast. But the time I spent with all you guys is what's really special to me. It shows me that extra clear to me. Lady on. Having all of you in the corner makes it easy for me to keep pushing myself, so thanks. It's time that I return the favor and start helping others instead of always depending on them. Aww. You help Dallas. You help us all the time. Yay! Really? Then I ought to keep it up. That's right, girl. I had to say, hearing that from you is a big relief, Josh. Oh, yeah. I'm thinking about going and seeing Alice when we go back to Tokyo. I mean, I did promise us to be her friend and all. I should be there for her while she works on her huh? comeback. But the real world, Alice won't remember any of that. I'm sure you, go. I'm sure you got through to her. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I bet I'll be able to reach her somehow. Don't you worry, Lady On. I'm sure the two of you will hit it off just fine. Thanks. Thanks. I'll give it my best. Oh, she's so cute. I enjoyed this part of evening view together. Uh, but did you kiss her? Did you kiss her? Okay, stop. <laughs> I mean, maybe. And then Morgana's watching, so it'd be kind of awkward. Like, do you mind, Morgana? I'm trying to have a moment here. But yeah, that, that kind of killed the mood having Morgana there. I went to talk to Hyodo, but nothing new came out of it. All she explained is that she could control whoever added her as a friend on Emma. So we're back to square one. That's unfortunate. Look at our phone. So we're back to square one. Come on, don't give me that look. Here. I at least got her smartphone. Now that's what I want to see. Hmm. Probably nothing interesting After on it. After reviewing the facts, I've just about confirmed it. Each of these so-called incidents, I think they all stemmed from a mastermind. Oh? I'm curious as to why you think so. Yodo, Natsume, Alice. All three were changing people's hearts to do bad things. But deep down, none of them were truly evil. At the very least, they're not the same as the rulers who distorted reality for their own sakes and ended up spawning palaces. I'd been considering that as well. Before Natsume lost sight of his writing, he was diligently working toward his dreams. Alice, too. She was doing her very best to be a ray of light and hope for other people. 
Mari-san was also striving for the betterment of everyone in Sapporo. Right. They're different from criminal scum like Kamoshida and Matarame, who acted only for their own benefit. Or is the next person gonna have like some connection to Makoto or something? Okay. But how does a handful of not-so-evil monarchs prove there's a mastermind behind all this? The fact that jails are fundamentally different from palaces provides us a big clue. For starters, jails don't have any treasures for the taking. All we found are people's stolen desires. That means monarchs don't have twisted enough wills to reshape reality and form treasures. Which would mean that jails aren't created by the monarchs themselves. Someone else must be doing the creating. Our final clue is the locks on all those bird cages. In order to get to the monarch, we've always had to unlock a door that denies us passage. I had thought this was just a security measure designed to protect the monarch and the desires held within. But if that were the case, hmm. why would traumatic memories the monarch would rather erase be the key to unlocking it? Given that these are cognitive worlds, maybe it means monarchs think their trauma will protect them. I find that rather odd. If anything, I would think it's the other way around. Correct. What if it is the other way around? Why might a door like that exist? To keep the monarch confined. Keep the monarch out to make the monarch feel safe. To keep them confined. Right. I think so too. What if that door isn't to keep intruders out, but to trap monarchs in? You mean they're trapped? I thought the monarchs are the ones in charge. Think about it. What would happen if a monarch tried leaving their cage? They'd touch the door, and then hear the voices of their trauma? Exactly. They'll remember what made them so warped in the first place, and stick to their guns as a monarch. And thus, the cycle continues unbroken. The monarchs really are birds in a cage. From that perspective, True. the shadows protecting the keys inside the trauma cell hold a far more sinister purpose. They aren't there to prevent the monarch's trauma from being discovered. They're wardens guarding an elaborate system to ensure the monarch's imprisonment. Let me get this straight. You're basically saying these monarchs are being manipulated. And by virtue of that, there's somebody doing the manipulating. How's Hyoto-san's smartphone looking? Nothing wrong with her phone or the Emma installed. But I did find traces of surveillance. Huh. I'll bet Ooh. it's the same snooper we keep running into. I'm lost as to who it might be. So this observer and our mastermind may just be one and the same. Hmm. Anyone have any guesses? Itinose? Okay, so, well, probably. The company in charge of Emma. Since you can't get into jails without Emma, I can't write it off as mere coincidence. Medici. True. Uh, too bad we can't just storm their headquarters. You mean the cops can't actually do that? Of course not. How could we even put out a warrant on them? By saying they go around turning people into monarchs? You have a oh, call is Ichinose. Sophia. Ah, she's suspicious. Hi there! Sorry for the relative lapse in communication, but I did turn up some info that I thought you guys might like to know. So, I've hmm. been looking into Emma all this time, and I still have yet to find any differences between her past and present versions. I mean, this is state-of-the-art tech, not something just anybody could pry open and take a look inside. But then I took a peek at Emma's changelog, and that's where things got interesting. It seems Emma was transported to Okinawa at some point after I sold her to Medis. Why is that important? Yes, exactly. Why was the first thing that popped into my head. So I dug around some more. And I found that off the coast of Okinawa, on the island of Kokojima, Medis apparently has a research lab. Oddly enough, its existence is unknown to the public. And when I called to ask for records, nothing came up. Basically, hmm. they're running a secret research lab. How crazy is that? So, if Emma's been altered in any way, I would think it had to have been done on that island. Well, guys, wasn't I a super stellar source of information? Here's something, alright, you see it's well done. Well done. She's suspicious. I hear? You mean I did a good job? Woohoo! Go me! 
She's so suspicious, man. Guess it's bye for now, Phantom Thieves. Please regale me with tales of your adventure another time. Yeah, I don't really know the spoilers to the game, so yeah. <laughs> she could be behind so it all, or maybe not. Sensei? I just feel like she is. <laughs> but she's so suspicious. Okinawa? Crystal clear waters? She says that juice? Juicy pineapples? Chinsuko cookies? Uh, sugar cane. <laughs> Not what I was expecting. I know that's why I said it. Guys, can you snap out of it? If it's an unregistered facility, we could always say we're conducting a field survey. That way we could ensure their cooperation. We may even find proper evidence that could be used in court. It may be well worth going. But Kukujima is a bit far from the Okinawa mainland. Then I guess we'd have to go by plane. Wait, what about oh, brother. We've taken it all this way. That's what you're naming this thing? Plus, yeah, that's a terrible name. Using public transportation. Even so, wouldn't it be too complicated to try to reach Okinawa by car? Oh, sure. Give me a sec. Hey, what's up? Yeah. Yeah. Of course I'm aware, but I also have a job to do, you know? <laughs> Who's he talking to? Why would I lie? I'm being honest, I swear. Uh, of course I remember. The thing is, I'm a little... Uh, well... Oh. Uh oh You got hung up on. Uh, okay, guys. Plane to no-go. We're driving. Huh? <laughs> you mean we're going all the way to Okinawa by car? The thing is, I need to make a stop along the way, so we'll be heading to Kyoto first. Did you say Kyoto? Hi Kyoto, what's this about? What's this about? Yeah, I primarily work for the Kyoto Police Department. I thought I'd take a moment to catch up, share intel, you know, cop stuff. After that, uh -huh. we to Kobe. We can take a direct That's probably his daughter. That ought to cut down on time. But that's still quite a distance. Even to Kyoto. Not to worry. I'll do the driving. You're tagging along? Wait, am I to believe that Nijima's been doing all the driving? Okumura, I thought you already had your license. I yeah. do have it. It's just... I don't have much experience behind the wheel. Plus, our You need to practice, girl. Not exactly... Uh, <laughs> I mean... I don't know. <laughs> Any case... We're taking off immediately. If we're leaving from here, you'll need to take the Hokuriku Expressway. The estimated travel time will be... About 21 hours, give or take. Gramps is correct. 20 <laughs> hours? Are you nuts? You forget I'm an officer of the law? We're badass at driving. What's with him all of a sudden? It's like he lit a fire under his ass. Fine by me. <laughs> So long as I can visit Kyoto at last. There goes Inari, revealing his true colors. He's fine. Ready when you are, guys. Say, <laughs> pedal to the metal. <laughs> All right then, let's hit the road. I'll get you rascals there in record time. Mm -hmm. Nice. It's been a while, right? But now we've been closer to the truth. That's how as soon as you're ready, make sure that you leave nothing undone. All the other side quests have been done, so we bought a bunch of gear at the shops and everything. We're better equipped and everything, so we're better prepared for our next area. So let's go ahead and go to the next city. All right, heading out. Let's go. Okay, we're off to Okinawa. Ready? Hurry up and take a seat. Yeah, we're going to be driving there, dude. <laughs> driving there sounds like hell, but whatever. Mikado will be fine. <laughs> She says Haru is a bad driver. Come on, Haru cannot be that bad. Would she cannot you like be. Me to drive for a while? Don't worry about me. You just get some sleep. We've still got a long way to go. Are you sure? It's been a long. You sure you're okay? You sure you're okay? You kids don't need to be worrying over an adult like that. This is nothing for me. To be fair, you are an excellent driver. The RV tends to shake a lot more when I'm behind the wheel. I may not look it. <laughs> But I used to patrol in a squad car. Driving second nature to me at this point. 
We drove a cop car. That's impressive. Teach me how. Teach me how. Sure. Once you've got a license. How tough is it? Being police? <sighs> well, it sure ain't easy. Oh, right. You're studying to become some police bigwig, aren't you, Nijima? Yes, but I've big only rigid. just begun. Wouldn't really recommend it myself. This job's nothing but hell. Your hours are a mess. You get transferred all over the place. Anything goes down at the scene, you get blamed. Maybe so, but Pretty, pretty much. My heart's set on it. No matter how tough it may be. I'll have your back. You'll do great, Makoto. Don't overdo it. You'll do great, Makoto. Thank you. Well, oh, you're welcome. If your heart's set, then do what you gotta do. But as your future senior, I'll share this. The harder you work, the more you wind up putting the people in your life on the back burner. Criminals don't care about your schedule. Tragedies don't care. You'll barely see your own home. Sit on that for a bit. Then decide if the force is right for you. Well, I am already quite aware. And speaking of, don't you have any family waiting for you at home? <laughs> Good question. Travel at home? Are you divorced? Travel at home? Oh, can it? Just mind your own business. <sighs> Let's just say you've got to think about yourself before you can worry about anyone else. Yes, I suppose that's true. Hmm? What's up now? You just reminded me of my father, is all. He was an officer, too. Unfortunately, he lost his life on duty. I see. He took his job a lot more seriously than you seem to, but when you boil it down, <laughs> you two are actually quite similar. <laughs> you shouldn't diss your father so badly, comparing him to me. Uh, so, uh, Nijima, when you were little, your old man probably wasn't home often either, was he? How'd you feel about that? Huh? Uh, well, in retrospect, I'm very proud. My father was an officer who acted on his beliefs all the way to the end. Is on asleep? Like, her eyes are closed, so she's gotta be asleep, but who the heck sleeps like that, on? Come on, girl. <laughs> that his duty was to keep people from being hurt. It may just be his influence on me, but I think becoming an officer is still an admirable path in life. <laughs> if only that were always true. Our ability to help is restrained. The shrewder and more malicious the target, the less we can actually serve them justice. Held back by superiors, held back by the red tape, held back by all sorts of laws. The only thing the police do is obey orders. Even when they involve total injustice or an absence of human logic. Basically, the cops I see every day are nothing but a bunch of spineless dogs. And that includes when I'm looking in the mirror. They sure put me through. They sure put me through. <laughs> so cops do good though. So you're a dog too. Some cuts do good, though. Sure. Like Nijima's pops. But <clears throat> anyway, that wasn't what I was getting at. I meant, when you were still just a kid, how did you feel about your dad rarely being home, Nijima? Oh, when I was younger? I did understand that it was part of his job, but I do remember missing him still. But at least I always had my sister with me. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry to bother you with all that. I say, yeah. You guys had better get to sleep already. If we run into trouble while you're all too tired, I'm the one who'll be in real deep shit. <laughs> and the bonding needs to go up further. I think there's a way to actually get it to go further. So I'm pr that's probably going to be on my next bonding point focus next. Uh, I slept so much that even sleep's boring now. What do? Well, is anyone feeling peckish yet? Although I suppose we've nearly reached Kyoto. Come on, Ryuji. Make us laugh. Make us laugh. Me to perform for you. I ain't some comedian. Say a joke. <laughs> Not now. I answer for you. I take the wheel for you. Should I say the voicemail? Should I say the voicemail? Wait, no. Can you just uh, answer for me? Sorry. Uh, make it quick though. Just say I'm driving, and then I'll call back later. Call you says someone named Akane. Hello. It's way past noon. Where are you? Don't tell me you forgot what day it is. We were supposed to visit Mom's grave together. Ooh, I sneaky sorry to hear it. How do you say today was? What do you say today was? Huh? Who is this? Please give him his phone back. 
Sorry, he's driving right now. Sorry, sorry, he's driving right now. Driving? Oh, I guess that makes sense. What is it? Who's calling? Is it some kind of emergency? Why don't you just pull over, Gramps? Do I hear a bunch of girls with you? <laughs> what an asshole! You're just out partying right now, aren't you? Ooh, she sounds pissed. <sighs> oh, you really are the worst! Don't bother coming home again! You don't even deserve to visit Mom's grave! She hung up. Um, I don't know the details, but is everything alright? Not here. She got the wrong impression. I have no clue. She's not happy. Uh, I see. So, who was that anyway? My daughter? Daughter? You have one? Yeah. Damn it. Sorry. Time to floor it. Hang on to your seats, kids. Time to floor it. <laughs> oh, we're just going to skip to the next day. Oh, no, no. We're not. Sorry. I I'm so used to it when I see a load screen be the next day and from the original persona, so. Let's hope he made it. Okay, we're in Kyoto City Limits. Is this good? I really have to go. Just park this somewhere and check out the temples or something. I'll be in touch tomorrow. Wait, tomorrow? W where is their overnight? <laughs> what in the heck? He's been in uh, quite the state since a phone call earlier. Maybe plans to keep, or something. Yeah. Supposed to visit a grave. Based on my deductions, today seems to be the day Zenkichi's wife passed away. He is due at her grave to pay respects. Zenkichi-san's wife passed away? That's why his daughter demanded to know where he was. Oh, Zenkichi. He could have just told us what was going on. Also, wasn't the way she was talking to him, like, really bad? Especially for today? She was enraged by the sound of young female voices. She surmised, you're just out partying right now, aren't you? Whoa. <laughs> Talk about getting the wrong idea. <sighs> really? That's terrible. We need to go straighten things out with her right away. You try to catch up. Where is she heading? Maybe she'd stay at. We should try to catch up. Right. We should try to find a nearby cemetery. Where do we start? I have found Sophia? only one cemetery in the vicinity. He will be there. All right, let's go then. We're we gonna walk there, or no? I guess not. So this is when we finally get to bond with him. Some. That's awesome. I wanted to learn more about Zenkichi. <sighs> Sorry, I'm late. <sighs> Look at that forehead, man! Haru, step aside. This is the real forehead, Chan. <laughs> uh, I know people have already coming? joked about it, her forehead before. I'm not here for excuses. Go have fun with your girls. Goodbye. No, no! You don't understand! I'm on the job right now! Do not come near me again. Got it? Can't even man. catch Mom's killer. <laughs> Ooh. Can't even look your daughter in the eye? Of course. You refuse to face up to anything, the way I see it. You're no father to me. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, well, you know. Uh. What do we even do? We really crashed that ship. She's really eviscerating him. This whole thing is entirely our fault. We're the ones who should explain everything. Please, it's almost fair. Please don't take it out on him. Please don't take it out on him. What? You guys? What are you doing here? Who are you? <laughs> Before, I, the forehead, I just can't. They were his right here. Our cover is on the guy from the phone. On the guy from the phone. <laughs> huh? And why are. She's totally suspicious of us. I would be too, but. Sorry to barge in on this, but please, we have to tell you something first. Why did you come here? I told you, wait until tomorrow! Well, we are the ones responsible for upsetting your daughter. Uh, Kane-chan, right? We are working a case together, so we were all traveling as a group until he ran off to meet you. 
Since your father volunteered to handle the driving, he answered the phone instead. That's right. Your dad's not that bad. So when I talked to you... Mm -hmm. He was driving us out of Kyoto. We're so sorry we upset you. Oh, uh, I see. In that <laughs> case, please excuse my awful behavior. I'm sorry for jumping the gun and making a scene like that. Whoa, she's so well behaved. She's already more mature than Ryuji. Shut up. Quiet, girl. But for real, you sure don't seem like you'd be his kid. You shut up. So, Akane-chan, you and your dad made a promise about today, right? We are so sorry he got here late. That's totally our fault, too. Oh, no, it's... It's fine. Yeah, I'm sorry, too, Akane. I promise. I really did remember it was today. It's just... Uh, this case is dragging us all over the place, and... <laughs> What's so funny? Uh, well... Uh... Also, you told me none of this. Couldn't you have simply explained all this to me before today? She's ripping into him at an adult level. To think she's so cold to her father on such a day. Uh, yeah. Oh, ha ha ha. Uh, you know how the police can't talk about active cases and stuff, right? That's right. In the force, any information about a case that leaks to the public could ruin all our hard work. <sighs> Come on, just cut him some slack. Ryuji! Sure, I, I don't got a right to talk. Considering all the hell I put my own mom through. But he's taking care of you, right? So don't go biting his head off over this. Oh, are you, G? Yeah, if I did that to Sojiro, it'd probably take him the better part of the year to recover. I mean, it's not like... Um, we're not trying to pile on you, though. I'm sure you have your own reasons for what you said. But his delay really was because of work. Please, at least don't blame him for that. Please, Anki, you did nothing wrong. You did nothing <sighs> wrong. I understand. Thank you, Akane-chan. We especially regret causing trouble on such an important day. May we pay our respects as well? Sure. Guys, uh... Thanks. Don't sweat it. Don't forget you owe us one too, Zenkichi. Hey, zip on the lips, cat. I am not explaining all this to Akane. Don't worry, Akane can't hear a thing. Come on, let's go pay our respects. I've yeah, heard our prayers to the deceased. So, two years. Aww. How the time flies. Was it an accident? Was it an illness? Was it an illness? It was... Well, I should go home. Oh, she said he, she, she was murdered murdered but I didn't want to say that because I felt like I don't well, know I felt like well, illness would have been easier I'll order some takeout no thank you I want nothing to do with you uh, hey Akane she's not stopping boy is she icing gramps out or what this isn't just some teen rebel thing but she's so polite too I really wonder what could have happened Hey, sorry about all that. You guys really did save me back there. Uh, I've got to get home, but I'll see you all tomorrow. Be in touch. Yep, fine by us, but you're sure you're good to just go home like that? Ah, uh, don't worry. She's just at that age, you know? I know you don't get home too often, but is everything okay there? Akane-chan's eating well and all that? Yeah, my wife's parents are just next door. She just shuts herself up in a room every day, is all. From what they tell me, she always eats in a room. Easy packaged stuff. Really? It's that bad? Utaba can relate to that. I'm always at work, so I really don't know anything about her diet. She's a growing young lady. I hope she's at least eating well. I mean, I send her money at least. She's already a third year in middle school. I'm pretty sure she's set in her ways. Worry about her. We shouldn't leave her alone. I'd to help her somehow. Yeah. After what we put her through, I wanna at least do something nice for her today. Her dad's taken decent care of us so far. Why don't we treat him and the kid to a nice meal? 
That's a great idea. I'd like to speak more with her. We can even help cook. Sounds like we'll need to stay over tonight. Let's make sure we pick up plenty of groceries. All right, everyone, after Akane. Huh? <laughs> Wait a minute! You can't just invite yourselves over like that, damn it! Hey! Come on, hey, man. You damn kids! Are you seriously crashing my place? Am I just talking <laughs> to myself here? <laughs> I love how funny he is, but yeah, that was a really sad and touching moment. Yeah, but yeah, that definitely was a sad moment. I feel bad. Could you please pass the potatoes? Oh, uh, of course. <laughs> oh, no need to be so formal with us. We can keep it real. Real? For real? Okay, thanks. Ryuji should have said for real. I'm just saying. Akane, would you mind helping me cut the carrots? Okay, sure. <laughs> well, they seem to be getting. I like his house. Nice and comfy in here. I guess she's warming up to us, huh? I seriously didn't think that could happen when we first met her. For relief, I choose a good kid. It's thanks to all our efforts. Thanks to all our efforts. I can no longer sit idly by. I want to help too. I've got it. I'll find an award-winning recipe and... Chill your circuits, Sophia. The curry always tastes good when you make it together with someone. Is that so? I can't it believe easily. you raided my house like this. You guys have some serious nerve, although <laughs> I can't remember the last time this place felt so alive. Hey, so Gramps, you don't gotta answer if you don't wanna, but what happened with Akane's mom? Hmm. Vehicular manslaughter. A hit and run. Oh, uh, so that's what she meant. She said something about the killer too, right? They ever get caught? No case was ever pursued. Any suspect is way out of my reach. What do you mean, you're out of your reach? <sighs> it's none of your concern. Sure, but... Hey, would you help put the finishing touches on this? Come on, off to work. It better be worth the hassle. Why do I need to do it? <laughs> Have Haru do it, she was just sitting there. So good! Oh. Oh, these vegetables in Kyoto make curry so amazing. Let me try, let me try. Mm, this is delicious. I'll have to report this back to Sojiro. Notice I'm sitting next to An. I'm just saying. <laughs> they know. Yeah, I knew he'd lose it. Curry that moves diners to tears? I wish I could try it. How would that even work? I want some too, but it's still too hot. Don't worry, Morgana. We'll be sure to leave some for you too. <laughs> the brains of the operation thinks of everything. I'm quite jealous of oh, you, brother. Meowgana. Meowgana. Me. Meowgana? <laughs> Who are you talking to? Uh, oh, uh, just myself. <laughs> you should have just said Haru. Come anyway, on, girl. How's our curry, Akane-chan? Do you like it? Is it good, Akane? <laughs> it's delicious. Good. Sweet. I made it myself. <laughs> well, I'll just take all the credit. I'll take all the credit. Thank you. you Although if it's bad, Ryuji made it. <laughs> oh, man. Shh. Akane Eggplant gives this curry an amazing flavor. I'm getting inspired. Ooh. Whoa. New recipe. Did you just come up with a new dish? I can't wait to try it out. Quiet, Morgana. Oh, man. I could eat this all day. Time for another round. Not today, Futaba. I'm taking another helping first. <laughs> Yusuke. No, it's mine. All right, break it up. There's still more than enough to go around. It really is good. Do you think I could make it by myself? I'm sure you can if, uh, if you put into practice. I'm sure you can. I agree. You're very quick to learn. You'll be a curry master in no time. Oh, thanks. I'll do my best. Oh, I've got an idea. Want to take a bath later, Akane-chan? Huh? 
A bath? That's the best way for us girls to get to know each other better. I can teach you all the supermodel secrets to glowing skin. Really? Brother. Oh, that'd be great. I'd like to learn those too. Mind if I joined you? Come on, how big do you think the bathroom is here? Yeah, good God. Kind of you and the ladies went out to share a bath together. You really saved my ass back there. We probably didn't want to join. But it's yours for the night. I'm glad it all worked out. We're having a good time too. No worries, we're having a good time too. I like this house. Who the hell would ever guess the Phantom Thieves are a bunch of softies? I I like this house. I gotta remember this house in the future. <laughs> if someone is suffering, it's only right to provide aid when possible. Yeah, we just do what we know we gotta do. Help the weak and crush the strong. That's the Phantom Thieves way and always will be. And we never forget when someone provides us a meal or a roof. Ever. Oh, really? <laughs> At any rate, I still wanted to thank you guys properly. It's been a long time since I've seen Akane so happy. Uh... So, Gramps, about what we were saying earlier... Uh, mm, <clears throat> sorry. Uh, a whole day's driving, finally catching up to me. You were saying, Sakamoto? Uh, it, it's nothing. Sorry. Yeah, I wanted I to know today. more about it. Would you guys mind hanging out with Akane in her room for a bit? She's into some kind of online thing lately. Something to do with some show about her faves? Clearly, I don't know anything about it. But I'm sure she'd be happy to fill you guys in on it. Roger that. We got you covered. Hear that? We've accepted a mission. I guess you could say it like that. Three of her ladies to finish your bath and head to Akane's room. Why didn't Futaba join? I guess it's a small bathtub, but come on. Uh, Good God! So, this is thief my room, stuff. and... Yeah. <laughs> Interesting. Oh, is this really all Phantom Thieves merch? I didn't even know they made this much stuff. Well, uh, <laughs> they are real famous, you know. I'm pretty sure some of these were only posted on super obscure websites, too. There are even some handmade ones. It's too much, isn't it? I know, it's lame. Uh, no, that's not it, Akane-chan. You're into the Phantom Thieves, yeah? Huh? Well, duh. Well, uh, yeah. Even she's like, well, duh. <laughs> okay, let's give me this all, a loaded expression. How Quit neat. looking at me like that. We're all the same, then. Huh? You mean you're... Uh, yup. We're, uh, huge Phantom Thieves fans. <laughs> right, right. I love the Phantom Thieves. <laughs> uh, go, go Phantom Thieves. Change their hearts and on. all that stuff. Why do you always have to panic act? Fan of Thieves for life. Go Fan of Thieves. Here are the Fan of Thieves. Go Fan of Thieves! <laughs> really? Awesome! I'm into the Phantom Thieves because they seem like the only ones changing this crappy world for the better. They're not just Ooh. fighting with their wives to save the people in trouble. They inspire people to be stronger, too. They've got up to eight or nine members, but all their identities are still a mystery. Eight to nine. I see what you did there. Online, they all seem so cool. I can't help but wonder who they really are. Especially the one who's always in the middle. I think he's the leader. He's so mysterious and dreamy. Ah, uh, girl, you're a little young for him. <laughs> uh oh, oh. That's just the you should tell. Let's move on. <laughs> you really yeah. do like the Phantom Thieves, huh? We don't need Joker in jail a second time. <laughs> Kanechan is so awesome. Oh, sorry. I didn't mean to rant like that. <laughs> it's no problem at all. I'd love to hear more about the Phantom Thieves. <gasps> Great. Oh, you know, maybe I could let you in on the show. The what show? show? It's a live stream that's sort of all about the Phantom Thieves. Oh. How interesting. Yep. Sounds like a great show. Okay, just give me a sec. It's almost time. Oh. <clears throat> it's one of those. It's been some time since we last met, fellow Phantom Freaks. Let us enjoy our time together tonight, Phantom Thieves super fans across the world. 
She mentioned a stream, but I didn't realize she was the streamer. What? It's like a totally different personality. So this is the online thing she's into? I think I guess she's so. doing the voice for that action figure. Is she well, duh. copying you? She is good. That's not what I sound like. That's not what I sound like. <laughs> our gratitude for the phantom thieves from the bottom of our hearts sounds more like morgan than anything else over 50,000 subscribers that's easily a mid-tier account i bet she's pulling in a decent income from this it's impressive we should do it too get never gonna get never gonna <laughs> really should i go be a special guest so there no. are other supporters of the phantom thieves beyond the fan site alone it's embarrassing to admit but it feels kind of nice. My dear freaks, I'm sure you're aware of the Phantom Thieves' celebrated comeback. As of today, three more incidents fitting their MO have surfaced across Japan. This is cause for celebration. Let us welcome the return of the Phantom Thieves with open arms. <laughs> she really acts the part. Maybe yeah. she's just in an extra good mood? Her dad did come home today. I have to agree. She reminds me of when my own dad would finally come home. Really? You streamed like this too? What did you call it? Fist of the Phantom Channel? You really <laughs> want to find out? I knew she threatened you from that. <laughs> well, that's basically what an episode's like. That was great! You're an excellent showrunner. The spectators seem really into it too. Oh, <laughs> I've been doing these ever since the Phantom Thieves first popped up last year. The hits these days are so impressive. Really, Grandma? I admit, my grades are kind of slipping. I should probably scale back on the live streams for a bit. Especially with high school entrance exams coming up now. In that case, would you like some help studying? You mean it? Of course. Uh, would anyone mind? Ryuji does. Ah, uh, sounds good to me, I guess. Thank you. It would have been funnier if it says, have fun, Ryuji. You deal with factorization. Wow, thanks, Makoto-san. You're a really good teacher. I'm glad to hear this is helping. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, good thing we left this to Makoto. No way we would have been any help. Like, you suck at math, right, Alan, I yeah, think? They weren't exactly falling over themselves for us to help out anyway. Thank you so much for doing all this for me. Oh, it's the least I could do. We had to make up for intruding last minute and everything. Oh, no, not at all. I mean, like, I'm glad you did. It's been a long time since I hung out with someone. What about your friends? I'm sure. Well, uh -oh. I grew up in Tokyo, so I don't really have any friends here. Really? I thought your father was in the Kyoto police. Mm. After mom's accident, he transferred here from Tokyo. He said it's because my grandparents live here. He seems like yeah. a good dad. He probably didn't want you to be all alone all the time. Yeah, that's not it. He just wants to blow me off and go get drunk every night. Not just that. hasn't been drunk yet. Mom was murdered, and he won't... Uh, huh. I... I'm sorry. It's all right. You've been through so much, Akane-chan. I've just been so depressed ever since Mom died. I wasn't having fun with stuff like I used to. Before I even knew it, all my friends had ditched me. I see. But nowadays, I'm doing a lot better thanks to my subscribers. But when I'm not streaming, I still... I get really lonely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want to know something? I lost my mother when I was young. Huh? At that point, my father had to raise my sister and me all by himself. Not only that, he was a police officer too. He would always be home so late, if at all. It happened so often that I really believed for a while that he didn't care about us. Mm. But one day, he was struck by a vehicle during an investigation and he passed uh. away. I had no idea. I had so many regrets at that point. I especially wished I'd shared more with my father. 
He had worked so hard for our family and the public. And I never thanked him at all for it. I just thought over and over. There's so much I wish I could say. I know it's not my place to speak on your father and your relationship, but even still, I wish you could find a way to not blame your father for his work. But he... Hmm? It's nothing. Sorry. If it's okay with you, would you tell me what happened between you and your father? Yeah, please. The man that ran mom over. What? But they never arrested him. The secretary left behind some suicide note. Apparently it said, I'm the one who ran over that woman. That doesn't... If, if the police had an eyewitness, they'd never make such a huge error in their investigation. That's what he said. At first. Eventually, he gave up on it too. Him and the rest of the police. None of them listened to me. And I told them so many times. Why? Because I'm just some kid? The guy who killed my mom is still out there! akane chan he doesn't care about mom anymore. He doesn't care about me. I know he's just trying to find the next woman so he can get on with his life. I know he thinks I'm just in the way. I wish anyone but him was my father. Stop that. <laughs> there is absolutely no way that your father doesn't care about you. That's right, Makoto. You've suffered a lot, Akane-chan, but I really believe there has to be some sort of explanation for this. Asagawa-san may seem like he doesn't care. But I have a feeling he does. In his own way. Just a bit ago, he went through a lot of effort trying to reunite a lost boy with his mom. He's been there for us as well. But that's just... I really mean it when I say Hasagawa-san reminds me of my own father. Are you serious? Even when I couldn't see him, he was always giving it his all for my sister and I. Family was always on his mind. And that's why I think your father's always working so hard as well, Akane chan. Really? His face looks so much happier when you're around. It's completely different from when he's out in the world. That should prove just how important you are to him. You're the biggest thing in his world. <sighs> that's right. Pushing him away isn't going to make you feel any better. It's only going to hurt you more. Instead. You should tell him how you really feel. Tell him everything, so you can't regret it later. No matter what you have to say, I know he'll listen to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, I, I, I just wanted to help. No, that's not, that's not it. <laughs> my, mom, my mom, she... <sighs> Please, forgive me. I really didn't mean to do this to you. Feel free to talk with me anytime you want. I'll be there for you whenever you need it. Thank you. Aww. <sighs> oh, why is Akane crying? Is she in pain? You'll get it one day. She's quiet. You'll get it one day. Really? Akane-chan. Thank goodness Makoto was here. That poor girl. Both Akane and Gramps are really torn up inside. We ought to get to bed. We've got a long journey ahead of us tomorrow. Yeah, my heart's all warm and fuzzy now. I'm gonna sleep like a baby. Like a baby. <sighs> Those kids. I had a feeling he was listening. I could just feel in my gut. I'm like, he's listening, isn't he? Yep, I was right. All right, Tuesday. All right. Well, Akane, I've got to get going. <laughs> um, once the case is through, I'm going to take some time off. What do you say we take a trip somewhere? How about we visit a theme park? I'm not a little kid anymore. Oh, okay. Hey, you kind of are. Shit, it Sorry. is tense here. Oh, boy. Getting these two to open up is going to be a real hassle. Come on, be real with him. That lonely army. Come on, be real with him. Don't. Come on, please, just stay out of it. Aw, are we still feeling pouty? Don't you think it's time to grow out of the whole Sundere thing? You too, 
Baba-chan? Come on, quit it. Will we ever be able to truly reunite father and daughter? Just give it a little more time. I hope they find the opportunity to bond. I'm sure they'll make it. Right, Akane-chan? <sighs> yeah, I guess. And she's short. I mean, she's a lot younger, but... If we wait any longer, the ferry will depart before we arrive. Sounds like we have to get going. Take care, Akane-chan. Oh, uh, thanks for everything. Um, here, it's like a Kyoto souvenir. I mean, you guys did so much for me, so... Thank you. Mini umbrella, okay. Promise to come back soon. Of course! Next time, we'll bring tons of snacks and we can stay up all night gossiping. We can share oh, with them too. Reach out to me anytime you like. I'm looking forward to hearing from you. Mm hmm. Got it. Have a good trip. That's on Kiki. Come on, say all your goodbyes. Um. I guess. Be careful. Uh. Is that it? Oh. Okay. Gotcha. I'll be careful. Whoa! Never that. Sure seemed to work for him, though. Oh. <laughs> oh, we're just skipping to the 17th. All right. I guess it does take a long time. Very bound for... Okay, now... Uh... Wow, how pretty! It's like a field of shining blue jewels. Oh, <laughs> I know I'm gonna cry. Now this is a sight to see. <sighs> I'd love it even more if we were just here for a casual trip. What do you think, Sophia? Pretty nice. So this is the Okinawan Sea. How pretty. What's it like under the water? It's kind of fair. It's very pretty. It's breathtaking. Okay. I'd like to see that for myself one day. Man, ain't riding on a big-ass ship like this so exciting? Indeed. Perhaps my adventurer's heart has been stirred. I can feel a surge of passion within. Okay then, no wasting this opportunity. It's time to get in formation. For you two, on your hands and knees. Huh? Huh? <laughs> Am I what? Luna, get on my head. Uh, oh, okay. Are you, of course. <laughs> You're, you, what is this? Feast your eyes. King of the world. Don't sing it. You've gotten it all wrong. Yeah, don't Isn't sing it. It's just copyright. Some kind of weird cheerleading routine. I call it an impersonation of the town musicians of Brayman. Just why did you need me for this? Hey, you! Get down! That's dangerous. Oh, brother. You guys are so stupid. That's all Futaba's fault. I wonder if I can walk around the cruise ship. That'd be pretty cool. Like, yeah, just take a, take a nice little wander around the cruise ship and all that. Hours later. All right. Ooh, next area. This looks nice. Yeah, we finally made it. I'm on that ship forever. I still feel like I'm on the waves. It was quite the rare experience, being surrounded by the dazzling sea like that. So this is Kukujima, huh? Oh, there are more people than I expected, right? I was picturing something closer to an untouched island than all. This actually was a pretty quiet oh, place this. until just a few years ago. But eventually, some folks cooked up a mass migration plan. They even had a slogan, find your new tropical life. All of a sudden, a population under 200 people suddenly explodes to nearly a thousand. The port area is really quite lively. It has a bit of a resort feel to it. Sounds like summer vacation back on! Come on, you know we're not here to screw around. First thing we do is head for the research facility. He's right. We should start there. I'd like to get the investigation underway as soon as possible. There go the two cops again. We don't really have a choice. Kate has to come first. Let's get it over. Kate has to come first. We can enjoy our free time here once the case is solved. Our current objective is the lab Ichinose found. Okay, let's go! Um, uh, which way? Get Whichever way I want. Hmm. 
Huh? What's up? I wasn't able to find any information regarding the facility. How the hell's that possible? Well, Ichinose did say it wasn't exactly on the level, right? Maybe we just have to track it down ourselves. I'm sorry I couldn't help. Oh, that's oh, the case. He's feeling we depressed. should ask around and see if we can find any locals who know about it. Who do you think we should ask first? Oh, maybe the shopkeepers know something. We could try. I spy a souvenir shop. I'm gonna buy something for Soju. Wait, Futaba. I'll join you in the search for native crafts. Seems that we need to ask around for directions to the lab. I got this. They call me the directions man. Hello, Commissioner? It's Hasegawa. What's the situation? It's unlike you to go dark for three days straight. My apologies. I was on the ocean. I couldn't get a connection. The ocean? The investigations led us to Okinawa. Supposedly, there's a research facility here with ties to that Emma app. This was the best lead I had. I brought the Phantom Thieves along with me. Any chance of locating concrete evidence there? That's too soon to tell. I'll start by questioning the facility staff. If I find out they're trying to cover their tracks, though, I'll have to escalate the investigation. And I'll definitely need you to send backup, if that's how it pans out. Fine. Keep me posted. We're still looking into Medis on our end. I'll let you know should anything turn up. Thank you, ma'am. Remember, Hasegawa, the Phantom Thieves are not solely in your pocket to help you track down the perpetrator. You are keeping them close for when we are pressed to present a culprit. When the time comes, you will turn them in immediately. Don't get too attached. Hey. Is that clear? Uh, <clears throat> said no, he's not gonna do that. <sighs> They've grown too much on you, man. And you know it. She can go on your and see if we can track down this research lab. Begin investigation. Alrighty. Alright, first let's talk to this woman who I've seen multiple times throughout different areas. You're looking for a research lab? Sorry, but I'm just a terrorist. When I ask Emma, you have a phone, right? You have a phone, right? Well, how about you ask your phone? I don't know. Also, we got some more requests already. We just got here, got more requests. Um, gee. She saw alert. I'll, I've never seen one in real life. Oh, that? Oh, well, look how detailed they are from up close. And they're all different expressions. Oh, those things? Okay, yeah, I see you. Those are divine guardians set to st staff off disasters. Currently, the one on the right is male, but the last one is female. Okay. Couldn't really tell, but whatever. Oh, so a couple. Good looking out, Mr. and Mrs. Shisa. They might be brother and sister. Yeah. The endless skies and ocean, the pleasant crashings of the water, the scent of fish fruit wafting along the wind. It is no mere tourist attraction. This is truly a natural paradise. And look at the Shisa! The grand bar of its profile, the dynamic. Dynamism of its lines. Use K, you're talking too much. Oh dear, he's totally in his own now. Well, that's just use K in general, dude. What's our, what's our like, quest look like? You're doing this one? Alright, so, Lavenza again. Shut up, Lavenza! Alright, so that would be like, Sapporo Jail. So we got more of those. Oh no. We'd have to fight her again. Not today, though. Let's just do some more investigating. Hey, sorry, I can't, I can't help but stare at the ocean. Getting to take it easy in a place like this would be so nice. There's a nice, great public beach nearby. Hope you have time to check it out. I mean, I guess we could later in the future, but not till later in the future, girl. All right, so let's take a look at our map. How big is this area? Not too big. Not too big. But we can still investigate some more. I know. I like the ocean too. I can have nice mountains over there too. All right, what about you? What do you have to say? Research lab. Oh, that place up over yonder? Yeah, I have no idea. I actually quit my job and just moved here not too long ago, so I have much learned, much to learn about this island. Oh, you want to hear a little tune? Yes. You gonna tell me a little tune? A little tune, please. Did you play anything? It's not playing anything, so whatever. All right, sir. Hey, you came from Sparrow? That's crazy. It's surprising me all this way. There's honestly nothing here, but I hope you enjoy your stay. Hmm, a research lab. How about you visit the beach instead? Yeah, why don't you go to do that? Huh. Suspicious. It's weird how he said it like that. Man, this looks cool. I wish we could go inside these buildings, too. Your souvenir is here. Is that well, here maybe we kind of have to buy souvenirs here, right? Will that be all? Hey, these are expensive, by the way. Thank you so much. Thank you. Hey, we're already getting low on money, dude. I've been getting a lot of money from like going to other places and all that. 
while we're here in Okinawa. Get to try these Sata and the Okay, buy that. What is this guy's voice? Okay, it's actually kind of funny, but whatever. It's like, and done! Okay. Makoto, Chinsuko, Um, Ido, Arabi. What should I get as a souvenir? Oh, I'm sorry, I should get back on track. I tried questioning the shopkeeper, but they were all very e evasive. Silent isn't too large, though. We should be able to divide up and perform a thorough search. I guess we could. Haru? I came across a group of outgoing locals, so I asked them a few questions. As I told them I was from Tokyo, they gave me all this produ produce. Those are ca called bitter melons, or goya in Okinawa. <laughs> or Oki, whatever. Right, the locals told me that they picked ju these just this morning. Look how bright they are, I bet they're delicious. Perhaps we should try cooking some with these. I'd rather watch you work your magic. Thank you, thank you very much! These guns really energize me. <laughs> Man, you are. But we need that recipe, man. Say, would you mind if I join you? I've been curious about this this goat soup. I heard that it's very nutritious and energizing, despite its unusual flavor. So I've been meaning to try it for a while now. But now this really does smell good. Interesting. Looks like I may have to brace myself. All right, Haru Kumara, you can do this. Haru and I tended to the goat soup. We decided not to take out the taste. I feel a flash of inspiration. That's right, I do. And now I know what to cook. I'm gonna. I'm gonna save the rest of my money just in case there's something else. Like, there's another shop right here. Is there anything really worthwhile? Like, anything... Alright, we don't have any of these. There's a few things we don't have here. But I think we should save that money, dude. Maybe we'll do it another time. Alright, let's talk to Zenkichi real fast. I think he's over here. Did I go in here? Mm. Bike rental. And you ran one of those already guys set of wheels. I mean, yeah, true. I didn't talk to Ryuji uh... either. Man, I can't just find even I can't find even one Okin Okinawa style soba shop. Oh you take this seriously? Oh, you take this seriously? Wait, huh? Oh yeah, I was I was totally gonna question some soba shop staff. A nice bowl of soba staff sounds pretty good to you now, doesn't it? How about we grab some once we wrap up the investigation stuff? I mean sure, of course. Sounds good. Uh, what's up? I'm already getting a text. Hey, I might have some intel for you. Come meet me behind the souvenir mm -hmm. shop. Looks like thing Kiki found something. Should we check, check it out? I mean, I guess we could. Hey, how far is he? Oh, he's over there. Let's go talk to him, and then we'll probably end off the episode there. Can we go over there? That looks like there's more towns we can go to. I sure hope we can go over there. Huh, that looks like Research Lab. I've ever seen one. Oh, hey. I heard from some sizzlery men that there's a really big business, just this big building, just this way. Oh, look at that path. This is most likely it. So, what would you like to do, Josh? We're going to investigate. I can summon everyone here for you. Hold off for that for a bit. You want to keep looking around? Okay. Try to come back here once you're done exploring. Yeah, I think we're going to do that in the next episode. So, so for now, guys, thank you all so much for watching. I'd be hit the like button and comment, subscribe to my channel. Yeah, this episode has been mainly cutscenes and everything, but... You know, it's just that time, like, the last time was a lot of gameplay, and this is a lot of cutscenes, so, it happens. Alright, thanks for watching, until next time, bye guys.